Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you're watching CPPNet video series on C++ exception handling and this video is going to be a life savior video for your application. So you know that it is possible for your program to not catch and it is obviously possible that you have written some code which is not inside try and you have not actually catched it. Then in that case, we all know terminate function is called which is a standard function and it will be called and in terminate calls abort and that's what you see when you look at the terminal right like it is aborted so to rescue you from that kind of situation there is a function which is set terminate function which will actually set a function for you whatever you provide so this is the function pointer i'm providing it yeah it takes argument as a function pointer and i'm providing the lambda here if you don't know what is lambda you can see this video maybe somewhere here in the pop-up so we are giving in a way that we want this to be called instead of blind terminate function. So in order for this to work, I have just made this simple example here. I am unconditionally throwing something like it is not handled. And if I will just simply run this program, it says set terminate exception handled. So we see that, okay, this is being called and it is actually end up calling this cool, right? And yeah, obviously before throwing only you have to set this, otherwise there is no point. And you can set as many time you want it will only take the last one and its return value is i mean this set terminate functions return value is it will return you the previously set function pointer so that you can actually see what was set before and maybe you can swap or reuse whatever the previous state was and you see this you have to abort otherwise it will call abort itself so there is no rescue for abort it will get called anyway or let me do one thing just let me call a terminate here a terminate function if i will call this terminate function let me compile this and yeah we can actually call this terminate functions right i mean who is stopping you from doing that see it is still telling terminate function so we have set the terminate function for us and if we call terminate which is a user explicit call to the terminate whereas program does by itself if you encounter any exception so this is a fair example here and one more point guys you can set this set terminate function for each and every thread separately because each and every thread will have to handle its exit or terminate or abort independently so this is provided for each and every thread separately and there is one more brother to this which is called set unexpected we'll see that maybe in the next video so if you learn something new today and want to help me in some way, just share this video to your friends. It will help me a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.